Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Prodigy's Mind. Welcome to How to Build Carnival Conquest, Episode 4, and let me go ahead and apologize. Uh, this is going to be late. This will probably not be going up till tomorrow, which is Sunday. Uh, this video should have come out on Friday. Yeah, um, so as I'm sure you remember from the last episode, I told you about the cruise that I was going on, and how I would be gone for that week. I was gone for that week, as planned. And, ooh, okay. Yeah, here's a little weird. Uh, I have a story to, to tell after I apologize, so, yeah. Um, so, yeah, I was on Disney Dream from Monday till Friday, and we departed on Friday. We disembarked on Friday. Uh, I did not get a chance yesterday, Friday, to make the video, and I also didn't get, get a chance to do so before we left on the cruise that Sunday. That's when I was really planning on doing it. It didn't happen, so, yeah, I'm sorry about that. Uh, yeah. Um, it's here. It's a little late, I know, but at least it's here, and the next episode will be on schedule, because I'm filming it right after this, so, woo! Um, alright, so for the story, so while on board Disney Dream on Thursday, which is our day at sea, uh, the itinerary was Nassau the first day, on Tuesday, on Wednesday it was Castaway Key, and then it was a day at sea, and then back in Port Canaveral. So, day one, we're cruising at 20 knots to get from Port Canaveral to Nassau in 12 hours actually yeah about 12 hours um and we got into nassau at about eight in the morning like we were pulling in at eight you weren't able, we weren't able to get off the ship till 9 30 i think which is really cool i got some really cool pictures of uh msc davina was docked right next to us and i had a stateroom it was actually the furthest back um furthest back balcony room on deck six uh it was the starboard side and so we got some really good views uh, as we pulled into port of MSC Davina. I got a lot of pictures, not only with the GoPro, um, which I actually have right here. So I have a lot of stuff with, from the GoPro, actually. I have um, mainly leaving Canaveral. It was a rainy day. Um, unfortunately, I was really excited about the horns, and there really wasn't any time when the horns were playing where I had the GoPro and could record it. There was no horn battles, uh, which is a little, a little disappointing. I was kind of excited for But if you guys want to see uh, Departing Canaveral, I can upload that. Uh, and that's really it. I think I got a video of when we were in NASA of MSC Divina, which is like a short, like, 20-second clip. So, I don't really know. Um, there really wasn't much stuff that I ended up getting for YouTube. Uh, I was hoping I'd get a lot more, but I didn't. Anyway, on Thursday, our day at sea, uh, there was a meet and greet with the captain of Disney Dream, which is really cool. And so, I actually got this hat signed. Uh, from from the captain as well as this hat. I got two hats signed. So that's a Disney Cruise Line hat, and then this is a Vulcan 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 hat. Yeah, that was stupid. Uh, so both of those got signed, and my hair is a real mess right now. I'm sorry. Um, it gets bad like that. Uh, so I got both this hat signed. I got to talk to him for a few minutes. It was really cool. Uh, that made me really happy. Um, so yeah, it was overall a good trip. You can see I'm sporting the shirt. You know, got the hat on. I'm all I'm all. Still hyped. It sucks it's over, but you know, we had a good time, so there's that. So, today, what we will be doing is so, episode four is the aft of the ship, the stern of the ship um, for conquest. So, you can see I've done an outline here, and let's go over real quick what this outline is. So, uh, you have basically the first block just hangs over the edge like this, and then you go up at a 45 degree angle all the way up until you hit the top. Of uh, that's deck four, this deck right here. One, two, three, four. So top of this deck, so right here. And we're doing this a little different from this ship, actually. You can see this ship. The slope ends here. Actually, originally, it it was flat here, like this. It was like that. Uh, but you can see on Pacifica, I made the cheap, easy change to just do it like that and be done with it. Um, we're not going to do that. We're going to do it the right way. After looking at pictures, I can confirm that I screwed up in the first place. Uh, so this point should be the top of deck four. Now let me go ahead and make sure that's right. It's not. I screw that up. Always double check. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna have to move it one north, and then this is the new point, and we have to move it one more north, and then this all has to be moved to north, and this as well, should be moved to north, and this, and I 
I screwed that up. All right. So now let's double check those measurements again to make sure that they're actually right this time. So head should line up with head. Yes, it does. Okay. And now we the next line should be here. And that's going to line up. Okay. So the point is at the very top of deck four, which is that lower glass window area, the top. So that line of white right there, that's where it needs to line up. Then from that point, you go at another 45 degree angle back towards the back towards the ship. Uh, and that goes all the way up until what's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, which is your Lido. Uh, and your Lido deck has this glass window that goes through on the side there. All right, so it goes up until the floor of deck ten. And then from there, it goes back out all the way to the floor of deck 11. All right, you get that. Okay, so now for this area, uh, I have to say, I'm going to count how many ones. And you know how this doesn't have to be exact. You want it in the vicinity, about right. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven ones. So that's not including that and not including that. There's seven ones on there, there, and down there. And then it just goes straight and lines up. And there will be more on the top here, because if you look over here, it hangs out. It's not flush. See how it comes out further than even the, the windows do? It comes out too further. In fact, these will also be longer, because these come out more as well. But I was going off of that. So that's two, three, four. So these technically up here will have not seven, but I guess that makes it 12. Then I'm going to count real quick and make sure it's 12, I think. One, two, three, four, five... Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, just ten. And why is that? What? Ten, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so that only has like. Okay, we'll. we'll yeah, remember, it's not going to be exact. I'm making incre incremental improvements as we go. All right, so now that this is here, we can delete that because that's going to be glass. Um, and we can also delete. Let me grab some glass here. These three. One, two, three will be glass. And those are the three below the floor of deck five. This is floor of deck five. And then also deck five itself. So those three. Three, like that. Uh, yeah, it should be like that. Uh, this is one longer. I No, it's actually three longer, I think, now than this is. But um, if you really want to change that, you could just move really the entire thing. So basically select the entire hole past this past like midship somewhere and just move it all three uh in this case it'd be south but towards the bow oh i'm not going to it's not that big of a deal really trust me <laughs> again with measurements you don't have to be perfect especially for a beginner don't worry about it it's just gonna you're just gonna stress out over it it's not gonna be fun all right so these stay because state rooms are here and then what we'll do is we will build a line out here and that's one too long. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, seven. And then this one should be it. And let me make sure that lines up. It does. Okay. All right. So we can just draw this in now. And so this is all going to be glass. And it will be glass below this line as well. Just like that. Okay. So. I'm not going to worry about, see how it slopes right there? We're not going to worry about that yet. Um, I'm not going to worry about any of that yet. We're just going to kind of bring it to a point, and then we'll build off of that when we come back to it. And I don't know how far we'll get this to go. I haven't really planned it out too much, um, but we will definitely get back to it. So uh, now you can just build your slope like that. Uh, we can continue this line like this. And I guess since these are the first windows on this ship, so far, since we haven't even started the, any windows on the bow, we haven't started the superstructure for the bow yet. Maybe that'll be episode five, or maybe we'll continue with the stern for episode five, and then episode six will be uh, the front superstructure. So that's not really planned yet. Um, it could be either. Again, it, the order doesn't necessarily matter so much. Um, so don't you know? It, it shouldn't be too big of a deal. But I guess so we've been kind of alternating back and forth. So maybe deck or maybe video five will be for the bow, and then we'll just keep going bow, aft, bow, stern, forward, stern, whatever, you know. <laughs> um, Alright, so we have this line in now, and now we just need to do the same thing for the bottom. So we just bring the glass over, like so, and then we just 
this. And there is an easier way. You can world edit doing it like that. But I'm not going to. It doesn't take that long. And also, I feel like I'm going to spend more time trying to figure out how to do it. Uh, and it would just make more sense to just do it myself, you know. I, sometimes I like doing stuff by hand, even though there's an easy way to do it with world edit, because it makes me feel like I'm being a little more productive, even though I'm not being productive. So. Okay. So the next thing, an easy thing to do here, um, and I do this all the time, and I'm actually going to copy it down here. So we're just going to take a chunk of this. We'll take that to this. And we're going to copy it from this point. Copy. All right, we're going to jump up and paste. All right, and you can see that pasted in perfectly. And so we can just keep doing that. <laughs> and so that way, we don't have to go in and draw those lines anymore. And I, you could, again, you could have done this with the glass, but it just it's not really worth the time, in my opinion. It didn't take that long to draw in the glass manually. All right, so now if you look at the bottom here, there'll be some holes. Uh, this depends on if you followed my last video perfectly, if, if, and if you're following this video perfectly, uh, where the holes are, how big they are, will change a little bit. Uh, just don't worry about it too much. You don't want there to be too many holes. Uh, like like I just did, you just fill them in. Uh, but if it's too big, like if there are too many holes, it's going to look kind of silly. Like if it's all the way in there somewhere, that's going to look really goofy. So I don't recommend doing that. Um, just try and stay. And I screwed up. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, alright, okay, okay, okay. Easy fix, I think. Yeah, 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 okay. Stupid me. Uh, we will just... Again, that was just a mismeasurement on my part, so that's position one. This should be position two. And then we just... Move one west. And... Yeah, that sort of works, except for it didn't work there. Oh, wait, no, I screwed all that up. <laughs> I did the same position more than once. Okay. So this is position one. This is position two. We're going to try that again. There we go. Okay, yeah, I screwed that up. All right. Problem solved. Again, that was just a mismeasurement. Easy fix. Move it over one. Done. And you can see the lines all still line up now. I just... It didn't line up then, because I messed up. Dang, my hair is like super weird today. Okay. Um, okay, so we have that in now, and we do have the lower area in now, so we can start on the mooring area. Now, because we do not have an interior, uh, you can see that this is just filled in with black stained clay. That's what that is. Um, and so that's a pretty easy way to do it. So it's like right at this measurement, I guess, no? Yeah. So like there. All right. So I'm going to look real quick to see how I line this up. I did four on the very back, and then there's two big ones and then two small ones. So three. We'll do, I guess, two. How big were they over here? Those are three big. Okay, I can do that. Uh, so three. Three. And then one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three. Right. Uh, and don't worry about this slope right here because this is all going to get filled in with wool at one point. So, you know, I'm just kind of doing that for now. Uh, and then you can see what I've done. And these actually are bigger than three. I don't know why I did it that way. That looks really kind of silly. So there's another incremental improvement. Again, you'll see lots of those as I kind of correct myself. They might actually be that way in real life. Um, I guess I should probably check, but it it's okay. It's good. Um, so now all I'm doing, ooh, what do I do here? One, two, three. See, this says, see, when you look at it this way, the middle one is that one, but when you look at it this way, the middle one is that one. Ooh, what do we do? I'm just going to put it in that one. Uh, why does that look so weird? Huh. Maybe that's why I did a different size, so that it would be even. Yeah, probably. Well, let me just see if I do it like this, and that's where it is. See, that's even now both ways. No, it's not. See, it doesn't line up that way, and it, it does line up that way. No, it doesn't. Yeah, no, we're just, I'm just... 
I, I think that's why the measurements over here are all weird. Because I worried so much, uh, and I wanted those. See, that's not lined up at all. Not even close. Okay, I'm not going to worry about that. <laughs> Um, so these are, the, often they'll do the toe lines through these little holes in the bottom here. It's just an easy way to uh, add some detail. And there. Alright, so if you are doing an interior, obviously you put something there. But we, well I am not. So we don't have to worry about that. All we need to do is make sure that all of the visible areas are covered. Like so. And then for this one it would be there and there. And then... Did I cover yeah, the slope? Okay. And so, one, two, three, four. There, and then those. And then there. And there. There, and there. And there. So, and let me make sure. Oh. Ooh. See, in this. Wait. No, yeah, that's fine. No, see, I tried, I did it one further in on that one. Uh, hmm. Yeah, let's, let's make it that way, I guess. Why not? So you know, I need a block there, and then it just comes one further out. Like that. And then these, I guess you just kind of do the same thing, right? Yeah, it'd be like that. Now, and then like that. Two, and then this one. Just cut that open so I can actually see what's going on. No! Alright, so the, the same clay goes there, like that, and there, and then top like that. And then these. See? Yeah, and then these you can just leave one. Mm hmm. Yeah, problem solved. Almost. I don't want to switch like that. And so we'll need to fill in that hole. Alright, so that was a little overcomplicated to be honest. Um, <laughs> don't worry about it too much, guys. Uh, just I just want to make sure that you have one block so I can take a block of any color and place it inside like that and not have it stick out any. Like that's sticking out. So it's just, again, it's, it's a small, small detail. It's half a little tight. I'm probably losing it. Um... Okay, so now that we have that done, I'm going to make another copy here. I'm going to copy this line like that. Copy. And so now we're going to paste it. Alright, and then so one, two, three, and paste it here. Okay. And then we'll do that again. One, two, three, and paste it right. Nope, not there. Here. No, that's only two. And one more time, one, two, three, three, yeah, here. And that should work, and it does. Okay, so these are our room decks. You can see, or actually, no, this one's not a room deck. There's more windows here. We'll do that in a second. These three are room decks. And so what starts on the room decks here is it actually comes out two further. So one, two, and that's where it comes out to. So you can delete this. And that goes for this one as well. Like that, and this one. So those come out two further, and I'll try to make this line up. All right. So you can see those all that lines up. That works. Um, and then this one is. It looks like it comes out two more. Yeah, it does. So I guess that means that this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. All right, 10. But I didn't do it exactly. In fact, this one, the sides are probably a little bit big. The angled area. Um, it should be okay. See, I made... There's less, because this has 6. This has 7, but this is also a skinnier ship. Which makes me think, should we change that um okay that's debatable 
because then I have to go back and redo. Well, I know, and then I it just it overcomplicates things for you guys. But also, I think it might look a little funny uh, with the area here not exactly lining up properly. Also, it's gonna line up a little weird anyway because it's skinnier than this one. So all the rooms are gonna be a little off on the back. Um, yeah, let's fix that. So easy fix, I guess. We're gonna cut off two. So we're gonna select here. And we're going to go down and select here. Move one north. And then we're going to do the same thing here. All the way down to this one. Like that. Alright, and then we select from this one. Up to this one. We're going to move two north. And then from this. Up to this. Okay, so we've just widened the back now by two, which means that this is probably gonna be all screwed up. And then, so to finish it off, you just select from here, from the, as far back as you really can go, to here, move to north. Nope, I'm gonna set it. Wait, you, to here, you select here and move to north. Yeah, and then from here, up to. Here. Okay, so now these are probably should, in theory, be smaller. So let's look one, two, three, four, five. So it's from seven to five. This should look better. That fix was a little silly, but it works. This also now lines up. Woo! I did it. Uh, this one does not. Well, that didn't before, so no worries there. Um, everything else still lines up though, so I didn't screw it up. Awesome. Uh, you don't have to do that change. That change was a little, little over the top and a little bit of an OCD thing, because I was just worried that it would look a little weird. To be honest, I just thought that it would have too much angle there and not enough flat part in the back here. Um, but that should be okay now. So now this comes out two, three, four, like that. So this is our new line for this one. And the same goes for this top one here. One, two, three, four. Yep. yep, okay. And this should all line up that way. Yep, that's two further. And those are two further. Okay, so our outline is pretty much done. So what we're going to do now is this is also glass. And it goes glass to about here. No, wait, let me look. No, it goes glass to about here. It should be about here. Right? Yeah. I'm going to move it one, maybe two further west. Something like that. And then two blocks, and then it's three. Like that. And so, because it's an exterior only ship, there won't be any glass, or there won't be anything inside. So, we're going to set 1 5. No, it's not 1 5, no, it's 95. Um, and so, there, we have to block out the windows, because you don't want that showing. That's kind of silly, you know. Uh, especially if there's nothing in there to show, um, it'll look a little funky. So, I have a way that I've been doing that uses ice and then packed ice. Uh, so you still get some transparency, but it's also a little bugged out, so you could just do packed ice, which I might actually do for this ship and see how that turns out, versus the ice and packed ice. Um, like, let me see if I can find an area that's being glitchy. Alright, you see right there, and there. See how it's being glitchy? It's because of the ice. And I don't know if it's because of my texture pack, but it'll fix itself. See, it, it's fixing itself, and there, now it doesn't do it anymore. Oh, no, there it goes. See, it's starting to do it again. See, it's weird. It's really weird. So... Maybe we'll just do packed ice. Uh, you just need to put, you want to put something behind them. Just, that's really, you know, pretty much it. Alright, actually I only did two blocks on that one. Yeah, we'll just do two. 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 Okay. And so, yeah, that kind of... Two. 
missing all my clicks. And so yeah. Oi. Okay. 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 All right. Sweet. So now uh, we're gonna go ahead and line the rooms up. Make sure, and we're gonna figure out how that works. So yeah, we'll just go there. Three. Three. Oop, wait. Yeah. I keep doing that. Alright, so that's how our rooms are going to look. And it should have the same amount, right? One, two, three, four on each side. One, two, three, four. Yep, okay. So the rooms are three wide. And I do that on my exterior ships because really, like, it's hard to fit that many rooms on... Minecraft ships compared to what real ships have on the side like you don't worry about that when you're not doing or when you're doing a, an interior Well when you're doing a ship you don't worry about how many rooms like you don't count how many state rooms because there's no way that's gonna happen uh, As much as you'd like to say yeah look I have 30 something state rooms on this side It's usually closer to 50 on each side and the real ship has 50 on each side and look I did it right It's gonna look really silly the rooms are gonna be like one to two wide. It's just that uh, it's gonna be a mess uh, three wide generally is good uh, for exterior only, if you're doing an interior ship, three to four, depending on the size of the ship, uh, mostly three, I'd say. Like, um, I think Sun over here has three wide. Nope, I got away with four wide. Wow. Yeah, this ship I probably should have done three wide rooms, because those are kind of big. And you can see Pacifica uses three wide, but it's also an exterior only ship, and it's based off of the Conquest, so, you know. Um, so I think for this ship, I'm actually going to rename it um, afterwards so it's conquest now but we'll do either glory or valor or freedom or one of her sisters um, because it's getting improvements from what the original conquest had from that what that has so I feel like it, it deserves its own it deserves its own place it's not replace I don't want it to replace conquest conquest is a good ship I'm, I'm happy with conquest but I feel like this is gonna be better and I feel like this deserves to have its name you know, it's, it deserves to be its own and not like a, hey, look, here's another one of that one. Because it's not going to be another one of that one. There are a lot of little things and even some big things that are changing. I mean, this ship is, is too skinnier than that one is. And that's this is that's more accurate than that. Because that's actually wider than it should be. So, yeah. All right, so now for the rooms. I'm getting off topic. I should just stop talking. Okay, so... We're going to take our glass panes, and I'm just going to do this on one deck, and then we'll copy and paste it for the rest. And so I just like doing this. Someone's down there. Who'd that be? Is that Luke? Hello, Luke. Okay. Um, oh, and we need to fix the holes down here again, because, again, the holes are kind of... Also, it looks a little silly now. Let's see? Um, yeah. Um, so, yeah, we're just going to put in the glass. Easy enough. Do 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 do. All right. Now for the wood, I generally use jungle wood because I look it looks the best, especially with pamplemousse. Jungle wood looks much better than everything else. So yeah. And the balcony sizes should be what three, four, four. Wow. Okay. Four. Four it is. Guys get lucky. Two, three, four. Hmm. And I think I did that so that the wall would be one behind. So these need to be one further out as well. Hopefully Luke doesn't close the server down. He said he was going to earlier. And then I don't know if he forgot or what, what the deal was, but he didn't. So one, two, three, four. 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 All right. So for the for the floor now, we're gonna do this color, this black stained clay. That one uses red stain clay, which looks a little weird. I don't know why I went with red stain clay. All right, so for the now we just do this, and the door is going to go there. So that needs to be one more. And so same with this one, and same with this one. And we'll do black stain clay above here as well. Actually, no, because that will be the wood for the next, so we won't worry about the top. Um, and also. 
One thing that I recommend doing is installing lights. So I'm going to use sea lanterns because I find that, I don't know, sea lanterns work. Glowstone's kind of silly looking, uh, especially with this texture pack. So I like the blue coloring more than I like the yellow coloring. I don't know, that's just a preference thing. Oh, I forgot to do glass on this one. One, two, three. Oh, the doors can go there. So like that. And we'll put a sea lantern in there. Um, and again, actually, I'll, we'll do the ice now. And I'm just going to do packed ice. I'm not going to do... Um, I still don't understand why doors are in redstone. Like, can you not? The doors really aren't redstone. Alright, so for this one, we're going to make it face that way. And we'll extend this out one more, too. Like that. And then, for everything else, it'll face this way. Nope. And that way. And that way. Okay. And so we can just grab some packed ice now. Uh -huh. Okay. Packed ice, and you just... Just like that. Nothing too difficult. You don't have to worry about above or below. Mm. And this one as well. Three, one, two, three. And so, well, actually, the rooms will have to start here, I guess. So you can just put wood down here, too. That's not wood. And I don't know how many there were before we started on this one. Uh, it looks like I kept that angle going, so let me make sure that's happening. How long has this video been? 30 minutes already. Jeez. Okay, yeah, that's right. Um, yeah, yeah, that's fine. And then, so that will continue going. Okay. So far, so good. We're really almost done. I'm not going to do too much more. We're not going to start side state rooms yet. We just need to sort, finish sorting all that. Um, also, we can put the red stripe in. Everybody loves the red stripe. we got to put that red stripe in. Um, uh, let's work on some outdoor decorations whoa wait you can put carpet on top of it oh i totally forgot okay uh we'll replace that place that and i kind of need that wool i don't know why i have blue wool though um yeah so just put in some decorations okay uh yeah it's just a table and a chair uh so yeah table or chair 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 Chair, yeah, and then the table will go here on all of them. Nope, not there, there, and there. Boom, 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 and boom. Okay, and I didn't put packed ice on this last one, so let's do that. So that's kind of, and that's, so we'll do the packed ice on all of this as well. And we're gonna put, I'm gonna put floors in the ship um, afterwards, so I'm gonna try not to block any of the floors off. Because the Conquest interior, if you ha if you did download it and look inside, it's kind of really sloppy on the inside. It's, it's pretty bad. Uh, it's actually kind of embarrassing. There's, like, just random stuff. The floors are only partially in some areas, and some areas there's not even a floor. So I'm just going to do gray floors everywhere. Um, and this one. So, like I said, we're not going to worry. I'm just, we're just going to do it to here. So we will... Seven five fifteen and this one as well. Seven nine five fifteen and then ooh, from here to there and then from here to here. Yay! It worked. Oh thank gosh! All right. Set back dice and we'll just continue to cover it up. Did I already do the top one? I did. Awesome. Alright. I want to see how this packed ice looks from the outside. Because I haven't actually done it this way yet. So that should be interesting. And I missed one. Alright. Yeah, that looks good. It's not as glitchy. It's also a little bit more blue than the ice is. It's not transparent. But uh, it's better. So that's a plus. Okay. So we will... So we'll go out to there, and we'll delete this, just for neatness. And then, from here we'll do... We'll have to bring this out a little further, so I can do... This. 
Alright, and then an easy way to fill this in is to just go like this. Uh, actually, you can be a little sloppy with it. That should do it. Yeah, and then. Ta da! Okay. So now we will just copy from here to here. We'll copy from here to here. And where should we copy? We'll copy one below. So looking at the floor. Copy. Alright, looking at the floor here. Paste. And looking at the floor. Paste. Alright. There, look at that. Um, alright, so all all that's left now is to do the top is to do the Lido observatory thing. And this will wrap it up for this video. Um, Yeah, we just gotta do this. We'll do it here as well. Mm -hmm. oh, that should just be. It should be like right here. Yeah. Nope. Why did I do that? Oh, cause right, cause I didn't come up right now. One more. And then here. And then, yeah. and then two more levels of doing this. Nope. And there, and then this one. I really hate the diagonal. Placing it's the pain, and then just pack dice. Again, we're gonna put a floor in later, so you don't have to worry about covering those. That'll be covered by a floor. Um, and also, if we bring this out to about right here, that's fine. Just cover that up like this. And ta-da! All right. Wow, that went fairly smooth, really. And it's this is more accurate uh, than that conquest is. Not only is it skinnier and actually to size scale, yeah, but it's also um oh what was the other I just oh it has a rudder. Ooh, I still put a rudder on that one. <laughs> I think I'll I think I'll keep that one without a rudder. Uh, just for nostalgia's sake. Um, so yeah, this should all work. Um, or what was the other difference? God darn it! There was there was another change that made this better. Um. Oh oh yeah yeah that was wow thanks brain. Uh, it's pointed here. It actually lines up. That's how it's supposed to be. So sweet. Uh, we did that right. And yeah, that's a plus. So, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I know it's a little dark outside and it's dark in game too. Um, so, the behind me, it's not like natural lit or anything. It's pretty dark. Um, I should be filming the next episode like directly after this. I might change my shirt. Just, I don't know, I'll probably just film it real quick. Uh, this week's video will either be departing um, Cape Canaveral on a rainy Monday morning, which is the video from when we left on Friday because I got a bunch of clips. And another funny story, there was actually some guy on the stern on Goofy Sports Deck with a group of people as we were pulling away from port, and he was talking, and you know, all this scientific, like, ship stuff, and he was saying, you know, oh, the ship has those rudders, the, the arthropods, that, that rotate 360 degrees. Uh, Dream does not have arthropods. Uh, it's a 2009 ship, but it still does not have arthropods. The only ship, actually, that I know of is Legend. Legend definitely has arthropods. Um, I can't think of any others. But I am almost positive... That dream does not have arthropods. I still haven't looked it up, but looking at Charles Goldburn's dream, which I did do to see how accurate it was, and by the way, it was very accurate. So good job, Charles. Um, and I might maybe I'll do a ship showcase video if I don't if I decide not to post the departing uh, Cape Canaveral. Um, but it, that had normal rudders, so I'm almost positive dream class ships do not have arthropods. And I wanted to say something so bad to that guy. I let him talk his crap, and good timing. All right. 
So thank you guys for watching. Um, I'll see you guys in the next video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked the video, please click the like button. If you didn't, uh, hit the dislike button. That's pretty simple. Uh, if your feelings are more complicated, go ahead and uh, leave a comment down below. Uh, leave a comment with su suggestions for me, uh, what you like, what you don't like, what I should do in the future. Uh, you know you know the deal. You know. Uh, so thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video.